weaker than uh, what we had just now, let's say 400, and I will stomp at 400, uh, I will jump at 400 pixels by second. If I put it to uh, something astronomous like uh, this, I will jump very, very much higher. Beam! Woohoo! So you don't calculate it, you just set it to what you want. And since, since we already have a jump strength to, for the speed when you jump, it uh, makes kind of sense to use the, the same value for the stomping. I won't handle here uh, when you want to jump to add some jump. Uh, you know when you want to when you're stomping your enemy and you touch jump, you jump higher. I don't want to handle it during this course because uh, well, first you can take that take that at the challenge, and also it's it n you need to un to handle a little uh, gap uh, uh, when you can push this button, the jump button, to add an extra uh, speed to your jump. It's, uh, it's not as straightforward as uh, on collision and on press, bam, you jump higher. Uh, you can't have two uh, trigger on the same uh, um, hierarchy of event. I can't add uh, here, for instance, uh, if uh, I don't even have... Uh, if you want to to play with the controls, you have to add the keyboard uh, plugin, and you know I can't uh, I can't use any trigger. I should have a key pressed trigger, but here I don't have any trigger. I maybe I could use this one, the case down up a row, and do something like oh maybe. Up arrow, I set the vector y, and here I can set the vector y to self dot platform platform dot mm, vector. I don't have access to the vector. Yes, I have, and I can do something like this. I think so. Here, yeah. I can jump higher by uh, holding the the up button, but uh, it's a bit. Um, it's not exactly what you want. Maybe I don't know. Because I can hold the up button as long as I'm jumping, I will jump higher. So I don't know. Maybe you like this. Uh, tell me, do you like this effect? Do you like how it's uh, it's made here? You. If you are stomping while you have the jump, the up arrow uh, down, you will jump higher. That's what it is uh, made here. Uh, calculate and there is a matter of tweaking trial and error. Of course, does anyone know how to ask? Uh, yeah, yeah. When you don't have any property uh, in your uh, condition, when uh, there's a property you want to access for a condition and you can't access it, you need to use the system comparison because the um, the, the programmers of uh, of plugins uh, for pro for plugin programmers, it's uh, it's not always uh, really. It's it can be a bit hard to expose every property of every object on the condition. Uh, so at some point, uh, if you want something as specific as comparing the bonding box, you need to use the system compare to value. And since the for those who didn't see yet uh, my uh, video on picking. Uh, this compare to value doesn't uh, do picking, so you have to play with uh, for each alongside it. So, um, yeah, uh, compare to value, okay, thanks, you can access through the player deck, must be top level for keyboard, no access, well, some stuff you can compare with the player deck, but if you don't see it, then go with this. Yeah, exactly, 
that's uh, the gist of it. Oh yeah, uh, extra stomping. I will change uh, my uh, system. Uh, everything. I will uh, modify some stuff. For instance, um, I will set a bounciness to my enemy, which will be the strength, uh, which will be added when you stomp it. So I will say to 500. Set it here <coughs> to enemy bounciness. And here I will add, if you have the upper or down, I will add the jump strength. So it's as if you were jumping on top of the bounciness of your enemy, which uh, sound, sounds good in my ear. Uh, jump strength. That's how you do it. You can do it. Mm. So you are colliding with the enemy, you were on top of it one frame before, you destroy it, you jump, you bounce rather, and if you have the upper or down, you add to the bounciness, you add the jump strength. Is it okay for this part? Is it good for uh, to you? Boom, I'm just stomping. I will add some more enemies because I'm crazy. Beam. Oh. Up. Oh. Additional jump. Is it okay? Uh, is there something that is not clear uh, for what I've done here? Because I will move on uh, to knockback. I think I will. Uh, I won't wait for your answer. I will move on to knockback. If you have any problem with this, I will read them later, because we are running out of time. Um, Bim, the knockback should happen. Okay, cool. It's good. Knockback should happen if you take damage. And here is why we will. Uh, we want knockback because. Uh, you don't want to stay inside the enemy when you are touched. You want to feel a wall. You want to feel something pushing you back. Uh, the, uh, without the knockback, the enemy doesn't feel like they are hurting you. Clearly. So, uh, I will save this part just for insurance. I will handle the knockback right now here. So, for knockback, uh, else here. Um, knockback is a, is a kind of bounciness toward the enemy, so you will set not the vector y this time, but the, the horizontal vector, the horizontal velocity if you prefer. If uh, You can uh, swap vector for uh, velocity, if it uh, sounds better to you and less uh, mathematical. Um, so you want to set the vector x to some strength. So I will add another property to my enemy. Maybe I can use the bounciness, but here I will use strength. Uh, let's say this one, because I want it to push me way harder when it's hurting me. So let's do just enemy.strength. Set uh, vector x to enemy that strength. See what happens. Nothing. Ah. When I am on one side, it's pushing me. So that's what I want. But I want it to push me on the correct side. So I have to. I will lower the number of enemies because it's not that clear here. Oh, yeah. Here, it's pushing me, but it's not really noticeable. Here, it's pushing me. Ah, I want to, to pass. Here, it's pushing me on the incorrect side. So I have to check where my player is according to the enemy when I'm touching the enemy. To do this, I just have to compare x. It's uh, the same idea as the checkpoint, checkpoint system. I will compare if x is lower than my enemy my enemy is X, the one who is colliding with me. I will be pushed. So, let's see. 
you can do trial and error for this but let's my enemy is here I'm here my x is lower than my enemy so I want to be pushed in the negative di direction so it's minus enemy strength else it's positive enemy strength let's see yes I'm pushed on this side I'm pushed on this side now uh, what I like to do uh, for knockback well it's knocking me back but rather uh, it's a bit weak because you have to understand something about what happens here I set vector x to minus enemy strength minus enemy strength is actually 1000 and I will show you that even if I put 10,000 I won't be pushed back much well, here I should be thrown back to the other side of the earth but I'm just uh, no, I'm, I'm just pushed a little bit so why that happens if you see if you look at the the platform behavior you can see you have a max speed property which means you can't go horizontally you can't go faster than 330 pixel per second and to prove kind of prove it to you I can set it just to 330 and I will just push, be pushed like I was pushed before really tiny tiny push so what you want to do here is to save because you don't want to uh, change your value inside your uh, event sheet every time you you change your parameters so you want to save first so uh, save the max speed you want to change the max speed here so he, he, here is the knockback part just so you, uh, you aren't lost you change the max speed to anything higher or equal to enemy strength I will just say it to enemy strength you don't need to go higher since you will be pushed by this value so you set the maximum speed to enemy strength and then after you've, you've been pushed back enough you can set it back to the speed saved of course I have first to save the speed save speed to player platform max speed and I set it here so I read this I don't stomp I take damage I take damage I lose some HP then I save my max speed I change my max speed to the speed my enemy will give me I take this I set the speed here according to where I'm I am uh, if I am to the left or to the right of the enemy and then I have to retrieve my former speed max speed sorry because else I will just be able to go super fast if I'm not uh, wrong oh yeah and me let's put this to 10,000 so you see the difference I will be projected it will be ugly BAM <laughs> and I don't stop BAM projected uh, I've become a bullet so yeah cannonball exactly so yeah let's put it to just 1000 it's uh, it will be uh, a lot already oh I killed it by error so here yeah. and what you want to do is retrieve the max speed else you will go to uh, to superman speed uh, uh, I can't stop going super fast ah. so yeah you want to uh, what I 
usually do is to use the wait action because it's easy to time. I set it to something like uh, with 0 0.5 seconds and I get back